How do you create a Kanban board to manage your team? We're creating a simple Kanban board in Jira. Hello, softwarepreneurs. Welcome back to Swattage, the software innovation lab. If you're new here, my name is Dale Richards. I'm a software innovator from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love making software that changes the world. I'm building a SaaS product from concept to cash, and I'm taking you with me for the ride. If you want to change the world, build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. Okay, so today we're going into Jira by Atlassian to create a simple Kanban board that will show our workflow and how we can get our tasks done in our team. The example that we're gonna to show today uh, is focused more on the UX portion of application development. So we're going to create a simple workflow that shows the back and forth between the UX designer and the client or the product owner. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, keep in mind that the motivation for creating this Kanban board is so that we can create a clear, clean, easy to use space where all the team members can collaborate using principles of self-organization. If you haven't watched the previous video about creating simple rules for self-organizing teams, make sure that you watch that right here. All right, so we're starting here with the kind of home screen of Jira. We've got a list of projects. Right now I only have one project listed in this instance of Jira. I'm going to create another project using this button here in the upper right, create project. And then it's gonna ask me which project type I want to create. So we're going to go ahead and select next gen. All right, enter a project name. I'm going to enter the project name here. And you can see that it populates this key down here uh, the key is kind of like a little prefix that we're going to use throughout the project to say that these tickets belong to this project. So um, we've picked this key ME for more energy. Notice that down here there's this place where it says template and it says Kanban. Uh, and so it's basically saying, how do you want to kind of format uh, the project so you can manage your work? So you can use Kanban, that's what we're going to do. You can though change the template if you want. You can select Kanban or Scrum. Um, Scrum is more if you're working toward, uh, if you're working in sprints and a backlog, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with Kanban. All right, we're going to click Create. So now we have this board for the project and you can see that we've got some Kanban columns or lists here. We've got this to-do list, in progress and done. Now that's a really basic um, way of practicing Kanban is to have issues that you know haven't been done yet, issues that are being done and issues that are done. We're going to change this up to create a very simple workflow for managing UX design and the interactions between the designer and the client. So what we're going to do is we're going to change to do to wireframe. So that's going to be our first step. These are all of the user stories that are waiting for wireframes to be created. So we're going to put those in the wireframe column. We're going to change the next column to wireframe approval. That will be for all the user stories who have wireframes but need to be reviewed by the client. We're going to click this plus sign over here to add a new column. We're going to change this to uh, mockup. And we're going to click and drag this list to be the third list in the on the board. We're going to add another one for mockup approval. So these are all the user stories where they, you know, we have mockups already and we're waiting for the client to approve them. And we're going to rename the done board ready for development. All right, so here's our workflow. Wireframe, wireframe approval, mockup, mockup approval. Now we need some user stories to populate this table. So what we're going to do is we're going to import these user stories into this board. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, create. And you can see that there's an import issues button on in this create issue dialog. So import issues and it's going to give me this kind of wizard for importing issues. Now over here in another tab I've got user stories on the on this particular client project that's got uh, all the detail written out. So I've got uh, a bunch of user stories they each have a summary and a description and I'm going to go ahead and export this so I'm going to download this as a CSV file and I'm going to choose that CSV file here and select open. 
Now, one thing that I've done is I have sorted these user stories in the order that I want them imported in because uh, when you import issues into Jira, uh, it'll just assign them a number, uh, a unique identifier, you know, as they as they are imported. So if you want to kind of have the, the numbers in Jira match some any kind of numbering in your source documentation, make sure that you're filtering or sorting your user stories in your source file uh, according to the number system that you want reflected in Jira. Okay, more energy user stories for export. All right, so I'm ready to import this file. It's going to ask me which project I want to import it to. I want to import them into the more energy project. I select next. Now it's going to ask me to map the fields. There are really only two fields that I need. I need the summary and I need the description. So I'm going to map the summary field to the Jira summary. And I'm going to map the description column to the description field in Jira. I'm going to go ahead and leave the rest of those. I'm gonna leave them, leave them off. I don't want to import those. I'm gonna click begin import. Okay, now it's importing all of my records from my uh, CSV file. There it goes. Okay. Once it's done, I can click check created issues and it'll show me the list of issues that have been created from my import. And you can see here they are, all my issues ready to go. That looks great. All right, so those are the issues. Uh, I can go back now to my project and I can see on the Kanban board now for this project, I've got all of my user stories over here on the left in the wireframe column. Okay, so I've got my board set up to represent the kind of order of tasks, right? Wireframe, wireframe approval, mockup, mockup approval. I've got my issues populated so I know what the user stories are that we need to build. The next thing is that I need some people um, to actually work in this board. So we're going to click on people up here in the menu. I'm going to click start a team. And I'm going to call this the more energy team. View your team. Now there shouldn't be anybody on it yet because I just created it. So, okay. Now, when I go to add people to this team, the problem is, is that it's looking for people that already have accounts in my instance of Jira. So for example, if I want to go look for my designer, Dimitri, I won't find him because I haven't added him yet. So I'm going to add him now. So we're going to go back to people and we're going to say, add people to Jira. So I'm going to add Dimitri and I'm also going to add my client, Michelle, and I click invite. Okay, and it says you've invited two people to Jira. Well, now that I've invited them to Jira, I can go back to my team for this project and I can click add people and now they should come up. So there's Dimitri and I'm gonna add Michelle. Great, confirm. So now I've got my, I've got my board set up. I've got my, uh, my issues imported. So now I have all my user stories here on the left. That's great. I've got my people added into Jira. I'm going to go ahead and add them to the board now. So I'm going to type in Dimitri. I'm going to add Dimitri to this board and I'm going to add Michelle to this board. Add. Okay, so now that I've got my board set up with my issues and I've got my people added, what I want to do is I want to create some rules. So everything, for example, under wireframe is going to be assigned to Dimitri. And every time there's an issue that gets moved into wireframe approval, I want it to be reassigned to Michelle. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some rules, manage rules. Your board has no rules. So I'm going to click add rule. We're going to select assign an issue to someone. So for issues moving to mockup approval, we want to assign it to Michelle. That way, as soon as Dimitri moves his first issue from wireframe to wireframe approval, it'll be assigned to Michelle. Let's go ahead and add the other rules as well. Okay, so I'm gonna add a rule. Okay, assign an issue to someone. So for issues moving to wireframe approval, we're going to assign those to Michelle as well. Now, anytime an issue is moved to wireframe, we're going to assign it to Dimitri. 
and we're going to assign all the issues that are moved to mockup also to Dimitri. Whenever an issue is moved into the wireframe column, it'll be assigned to Dimitri. Whenever it is assigned to wireframe approval, it'll be assigned to Michelle. Whenever it is moved to the mockup column, it'll be assigned back to Dimitri. And when it is moved to the mockup approval column, it'll be assigned to Michelle. I'm gonna add a fifth one. So as soon as it's ready for development, I'm going to assign it to me. Great. All right, let's test it. So we're gonna move this first user story from wireframe to wireframe approval. It's got Michelle assigned there. I'm gonna move it back now to wireframe and it's been reassigned to Dimitri. Great. All right, so now the thing is, Dimitri knows that he needs to work on all of the user stories in this column, the wireframe column. He'll move each one over to wireframe approval as he finishes each wireframe and uh, so on and so forth down the line until all of the user stories have been moved from wireframe over to ready for development. And that is all. All right, there you go. We've created our board. We've imported issues into the board. We have added people to the board and we have created rules to assign issues as they're moved from column to column. And we are ready to get started with our self-organizing team. Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.